Welcome to Front Office Essentials. Front Office Essentials is a license free piece of software which will enable you to build your own service catalogue and publish IT services. The system can be accessed by a unique login ID and password by any number of users once installed. As part of the installation we provide you with a standard data set which will give you a sample of a service catalogue and services that sit within that catalogue. We also provide you with links to getting started documentation which will help you to configure your own service catalogue and services. The categories that you can now see on screen within the service catalogue form part of the standard data set that was installed with the system. The categories can be designed with both text that sits at the top level but also differing text that will appear once I click into the category itself. Each of the categories also can have an image displayed against it and we do provide you with a standard set of images although you also have the ability to upload your own if you prefer. Also within these categories we can show the links to the services that sit within them. Each service has full version control. A service can be given service description details including images and links to other systems as required, pricing descriptions and service level descriptions if you need to. We can restrict down access to the categories and the individual services within your service catalogue using user groups. We will now move on to the administration area of the system where we will talk through how you actually will go about setting up your own service catalogue and the services within it. To access the administration area, select the admin menu. Before we look at the service catalogue design and the services within it, we'll discuss the users and the user groups that you may wish to create on the system. The system comes with a standard default access profile which you can assign to any general users who you will want to use the system to view your service catalogue and services within it. We also provide you with a supervisor access profile which would enable somebody to access the administration menu and create a service catalogue and any new services required. Users that are required to access the system need to be created with the unique user ID and password. Any new users can be added via the user interface or using a CSV file import format. Once you have created your users, you can then put the users into user groups which can be used to restrict your service catalogue categories or services within them. Again, the user groups can be created via the user interface or using a CSV file format. Within each of the import screens, there is a link to the import file template. This template must be used for all imports of data into the system. We will now look at creating your own service catalogue and the services that sit within it. Biomni can provide you with other sample service catalogues and you can easily import these into the system using the service catalogue import function. I will now import another service catalogue so that you can see how simple this is. You can now see another service catalogue that I have just imported. This service catalogue has different categories and many other services than the service catalogue that is provided as part of the standard data set. Your service catalogue, when you design it, is designed with categories at top level and then within those categories you are able to have subcategories and links to the appropriate services. Adding categories here will add categories at the top level. Once I have the top level created, I can then create my services to link into this category, add any subcategories required, but also create separators that can sit within the list of services that are provided.
categories can be edited, copied, moved and deleted from within the service catalog structure. The services that you want to sit within your service catalogue can be created and accessed either via the service catalogue directly or via the services link here. You can see a list of all the live services that there currently are on the system. From here you can actually create a new service or create a new version of an existing service or in fact a copy. When you create a new service you will work through each of the tabs entering the details against the individual service as required. These details on the main tab include the name, again the service type, service criticality and the service group that is responsible for the management of your service. The checkbox here to show on the top page is actually enabling this service to show as a link within the top level category in the service catalogue. Each service then can have some descriptive text and you can see the rich text formatting along the top which enables you to change the fonts, enter any links or images or tabular structure to display your service. You also have the ability to link in any specific service attributes. These are effectively field information held against an individual service. And at the bottom here you can see the search keywords area. Keywords can be entered in a string separated by a comma to help your users to find your services when they use the search function on your service catalogue. As we work through the tabs, we'll move on to the Action tab. As this is an Essentials system, the services that you create are not actionable. They are purely for information purposes only. You are able to upgrade your system to other front office versions which would then give you requestable service functionality along with approval routings etc. The next tab is the pricing tab. You are able to add in price descriptions and again any attributes that may relate to this specific area of this service. The next tab is the SLA tab where again you can enter your service level description and any relevant attributes at the bottom. The dependencies tab enables you to link together services that may be related. So you can have parent services that are dependent upon this individual service that you're creating but also child services which this service are dependent upon. The access tab is where you will maintain the access rights to this particular service. By default it will show for all users who access the system. If you wish to restrict this service, you can do so by unchecking the box and selecting a group, user group that you have previously created. And finally, the category tab is where you will link your service into the category structure of your service catalogue. You are able to link your service to one or more of the categories that you have already created. You can also create new categories within your structure copy, move and delete any of the existing catalogue structure. Once your service is created, it will actually be in a draft format. For a service to be viewable from the front end by your users, it must be made live. Once a service is live, and if any updates are required, you should create a new version of your service. When this service is then made live, it will automatically override the existing live version.